Hello, this is Rajeshwari, Assistant Professor of English. In this session, let's discuss a one-act play, The Bishop's Candlesticks. It's written by Norman McKinnon. Before we get into the session, let's see what does one-act play mean. The term itself conveys its meaning that the play, which has only one act, it may consist of one or more scenes, which differ from the plays that occur several acts and scenes. Let's see about the author. Norman Mackinnell was a well-known Scottish actor and a dramatist. He appeared in many stage roles in the UK and overseas. The Bishop's Candlesticks is an adaptation of a memorable incident that occurs in Victor Hugo's novel, Les Miserables. Let's see the characters in this play. The Bishop, who is a kind-hearted man. Mary, the servant maid of the Bishop's cottage. Person, the Bishop's sister. The convict or the prisoner. At last, the sergeant of Gentiles. Sergeant is a police officer ranking below an inspector. Let's move on to the play. The play portrays a generous and a kind-hearted human being, the bishop. The bishop is always ready to help everyone, those who are in trouble, the poor and the needy people. As a bishop, he believed the fact that by serving people is equal to serving God. But his sister Persum is just opposite to him. She believed that her brother was being misused by the people around him. One day, when she was in the kitchen with her servant maid Mary, she found out that her silver salt cellar is missing. Then she came to know from the maid that it had been sold to pay the rent of an old lady named Mia Gringoy. M-E-R-E-G-R-I-N-G-O-I-R-E. Mia Gringoy. When Bishop returned the cottage, person inquired him about the missing salt settler and reminded him that one day he will sell the candlesticks also to pay the rent of someone. The bishop consoled and promised to her that he will never sell it as it was given by their mother on her deathbed just after the birth of person. So as a remembrance of their mother, he wished to keep it forever. Later that night, a convict or a prisoner had secretly come to the bishop's cottage and threatened him with a long knife. The convict demanded him to provide him food, but the bishop treated him like a friend and provided the food whichever was available there like baked meat, vegetables, wine and some bread also. Whereas the bishop's sister was a little afraid of the convict. Here, the convict disclosed his past to the bishop. The time, how he led a life with his wife in their little cottage. His wife Janet was ill and he did not have any work at that time. She was nearly at the stage of dying. So, to satisfy her hunger, he decided to steal. There he was captured and sentenced for 10 years in the prison. He came to know from the jailer that his wife was dead that night. He addressed the prison as a hell because the prison had changed him from a human being to a beast. 
they treated and tortured him like an animal in the prison. They chained him like an animal and beat him like a dog and fed on filth or dirt and he was covered with the vermin or insects. One day, he escaped from the prison when those jailers forgot to chain him. Again, he started stealing to satisfy his own hunger because he dared not go in front of anyone to beg. Once after listening the convict's story, the bishop felt pity on him and he offered a sufficient space in the cottage itself to take a good sleep. There, the convict noticed silver candlesticks on the mantelpiece. Mantelpiece was a frame surrounding a fireplace. The top part of the frame can be used as a shelf. The bishop accepted him as a friend and noticed that the convict was looking at the candlesticks. Then he explained the story behind the candlesticks to him. That night, the convict ran away with the silver candlesticks and later he was captured by the sergeant and they identified the candlesticks. So they brought him in front of the bishop. But the bishop convinced the sergeant that the convict was his friend and he himself has given the candlesticks to him. Though his sister person was not ready to give back the candlesticks to him, she obeyed the words of the bishop. Bishop had shown him the way to save his life that night. At last, the convict left the place after getting the blessings from the bishop. Here, we can see how the love and compassion of the bishop reforms a prisoner or the convict from a beast to a man. I hope you guys understood the play. Thank you.